Hello, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today I thought we would throw back Thursday even though it is Saturday today. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna be posting. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people do during quarantine is bake bread. Today I thought we would do, we'd bake some bread, but we'd make pizza dough bread. So I thought we could make pizza from scratch the sauce from scratch and uh, in either this episode or another episode I thought it'd be fun to do some garlic knots so if you're interested in following along with me in making some pizza then please keep watching so I have all my ingredients right here to make my pizza dough and I pulled up a easy pizza dough recipe um, and I wrote it down over here. I'll put it in the comment or in the description box below. So if you want to, you can make the same one. I've already chopped up a lot of garlic. So we got that all ready to go for the sauce and the garlic knots later. Okay, so we got our big bowl and then first we're going to put one cup of uh, flour into the bowl. And I'm scooping up my flour from the bag. I want to make sure it's all level. So I take like a little butter knife and I just spread it out. Oops, drop some. Flour is a hot commodity during the quarantine. Like I said, everybody's making bread and everybody is panic buying the all purpose flour. Anyway, so we got one cup of flour, put it in your bowl, like so. And then we're gonna combine one packet of instant yeast. This is fast acting yeast. We got our flour and yeast in here. I brought you down just cause I thought it would be easier to see. Add one and a half teaspoons of sugar. One teaspoon and then half Next, we need three fourths of salt. Okay, so it wasn't recording, but <laughs> I added, let's see, three fourths teaspoon of salt, salty, and half a teaspoon of garlic powder garlic powder, and half a teaspoon of dry basil, and I added a little more basil just because I love basil, and I mixed it all up like so, and now we're going to add um, two tablespoons of olive oil and three-fourths cup, uh, three-fourths of a cup of warm water, so let me go get the warm water, be right back. All right, now we're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil. So that's one, two. And we're gonna add three fourths cup of warm water. Okay, Let's put this in there. And then we're gonna stir, stir, stir until a doughy dough. Use a wooden spoon and stir well, it says. Now we're going to gradually add one cup of flour to this mixture that we have right here. Cup, and we're going to gradually add it to the mixture. Oh.
go ahead and stir it all up um, until it started to come apart from the bowl. It didn't stick to the bowl anymore and started to just become kind of elasticy. Um, and it should be able to be manageable with your hands, but not too sticky. Um, you can add more flour if you need to, but I don't know. I've never made pizza dough before, so I'm not really sure if this is right. So this is what it looks like right now. Um, I'm going to set this off to the side. And next I'm going to take the bowl that I'm going to be putting it in for it to rise. And I'm going to coat the bowl with olive oil. Now I'm going to coat the sides of the bowl like this. Oh, I have my bowl and it's coated with olive oil. And make sure your hands are nice and clean, of course. And some flour. I'm going to use this flour. I want to roll it out later. And then I'm going to take pizza dough and form it into a bowl. Ball. Bowl? Ball. ball. <laughs> I'm not sure if it has to be like a meatball or you make sure there's not any cracks in it. I have no idea. It's my first time doing this. I'm going to put it in the bowl of olive oil. Schlop. Roll it around in the olive oil. Honestly, this could be one giant fail, but we'll see. <laughs> and once I cover it up with the plastic wrap, then I'm going to put it in a nice warm place for about 30 minutes. And while we are doing that, I'm going to start making the sauce. How do I do this? I hate cling wrap sometimes. It's so... Ugh. It's so... Ugh. Put her in a nice warm place so that she can hang out and rise. Okay? Alright. Okay, now while we are waiting for our dough to rise in her nice cozy warm place, we're gonna make some sauce because I thought it would be fun to make some homemade delicious pasta sauce from scratch that we can add to our pizza. Let's learn how to do that. The must-have ingredient for an amazing pasta sauce is none other than San Marzano Italian Plum Tomatoes. I'm gonna use four 28 ounce cans of San Marzano Plum Tomatoes. I want it to be a puree. These are crushed tomatoes, so we're gonna put them in the can or in the pot, and then we're going to puree them in there. Open up your cans. Pot we're gonna be using. Pour our tomatoes on in here. Don't leave any remnants behind. Very important. I'm gonna have a thicker sauce. You don't have to do the puree step, um, but it's up to you. Just your personal preference. Three. Oops. Drop the lid in there. <laughs> And splatter everywhere. It's a little bit thicker, but kind of like I kind of like thick sauce, so I'm not gonna puree it too much. Take one of these little doodads, stick it in there. And we're gonna. Oh. So now we're done uh, blending it. So it's still thick, but not as thick by any means. Still a little bit chunky. Um, don't like that word, but you know, anyways. So it's got nice texture. Now I shredded up some cheese. We got some different kinds of Parmesan. We got Pecorino Romano cheese as well as the Parmesan. It's a nice little blend. So we are adding both of that, those kinds. So it gives it a nice, nice salty, flavor that's rich and diversify anyways just add the cheese so we're gonna add the cheese to the sauce okay and then i'm gonna add a little bit of salt pepper uh. 
three cloves of garlic. We got lots of garlic here. All right, so we're gonna add in garlic. The comes lacy. <laughs> I need to chop up some basil if it's still good, but it doesn't really look that good anymore, so. I'm also gonna add some dry basil in there. Some crushed red pepper flakes, that's the key ingredient. I like my sauce spicy. So, we're gonna just add in some pepper flakes to that sauce, okay? And then stir it all up and we're gonna put it on the stove to boil. Okay? There we go. So we're gonna let that boil and then bring it to a simmer and I'll see you then. So it's definitely been a half an hour, if not more. <laughs> And we let the dough rise. Look at how big she is. Now I preheated my oven to 425 so it can heat up while we spread it out and make it into a nice pizza pie circle, hopefully. We'll see what we get. Gently deflate it. Ooh! <laughs> it's like, she's like alive. Like all the air is coming out of her. And I guess we're just gonna start rolling her out. So I'm gonna dust my rolling pin with flour too. It's gonna be hard because I'm just gonna make it do like this. All right, and the little specks in the dough is the basil. Um, I don't know if I would do it like that again. It's kind of weird that it's like these thick, specks of dried basil in it. Um, but anyways, you can hear my dog, she's eating her dinner in the background. She's doing my best here. pinch the edges. We can pinch where we can roll them. I'm gonna just give it a little bit of a rolly roll like this. Holy poly. Okay, like this. Just a little rolly roll. All right. And she's a little thicker on some sides more so than other sides. That's all right, we're learning. This is my first time making a pizza. Resembles a pizza. Would you not? I mean, I think it does. I think it looks pretty good. I'm just gonna get a little love tap. Like this. Okay. Oh, I changed my shirt, by the way, if anybody was wondering. My Ariana Grande merch. All right, so now that we formed the crust, we're gonna drizzle it with some olive oil again. And I need to get the olive oil. And we're gonna just rub it all onto the pizza. Brush it all over the, the pizza. And I'm gonna brush uh, my crusts too, because I want them to be all golden-y and crisp. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just spreading it all over the za. But you want to poke holes over the center here. Um, because you want to keep it from bubbling in, in the oven. I do like a good bubble, but you don't want it to be too bubbly, so. I'm just gonna poke, 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 poke. Now we're decorated. <laughs> okay. All right, 
she's a little moist. I'm kind of just making a mess here. All right. It's my first time. <laughs> and this is what we're working with. I think it looks all right. Not great. Um, but we're going to decorate it now. Okay. So, also in this time while we've been waiting for the dough to rise, my sauce has been simmering. So I'm gonna get that, wash my hands. Okay, so now we're gonna add our toppings. I got my sauce, I got pizza blend fancy shredded, I also have some mozzarella, and we just decorate now. So I'm gonna add some homemade sauce. Um, I like it saucy, so I'm going to add a lot. Just going to give it a good old spreaderini. Make sure you get all the edges. Give it a little swirly swirl. Did you see that technique I got there? Pretty good. Okay, towards the end it wasn't that strong, but yeah. Spread the garlic all over. Looks good. The pizza fancy blend. Sprinkle, sprinkle, little star. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle, little star. Beanie, 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 beanie. Pepperonis. Pepperoni pizza. I would have fresh basil, but my fresh basil went bad, and since we're in quarantine, I haven't been able to find fresh basil or go to the store to get it, so. Um, I have some basil, but it's not great. I'm just going to spread it out all over it to bake in the oven. Um, but normally, I would put fresh basil on the pizza after it's already been baked. I just think you don't lose the flavor that way. So some say that I'm doing this wrong right here by shredding it in my fingers. Because you can crush up some of the flavor that way as well. But I'm being a little bit lazy. So I'm really hungry too. <laughs> okay. And there's the pizza. Take a look at her. Looks pretty good, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna put it in the oven for, let's see, I need to check my phone for how long. So now we're gonna put it in the oven for 13 to 15 minutes um, or until the toppings are golden brown so the cheese is super melted and golden brownie. I'm gonna pop it in the oven and then I'll see you when it's done. Look, she's perfect, she's golden, she's crispy, she's ready to go, she's piping hot. Now we're just gonna slice her up and eat her. I'm gonna let it cool for a sec. Mwah, bella. <laughs> I got the pizza. The the bread, the dough is a little crumbly. Um, so that's my first impression. Oh, it's hot too. <laughs> Ow, it's hot. Mm. Mm. I smell New Jersey pizza. The bread is thick, but overall tasty. It's a very fluffy crust, and it's very thick because I didn't spread it out very good. <laughs> it's good, and it was a really fun um, thing to do today. It was fun. I loved it. And I definitely will do it again, but uh, it's, it's like I said, it's no New Jersey pie. Uh, nice little quarantine activity for the, for the day, and I think I did a pretty good job for my first time. If you make this pizza, make sure you comment down below, tell me all about it, and make sure to subscribe for more videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and follow me on Instagram, because I do stuff over there too. Okay, bye! What a wonderful world.